Ani and good day. My name is Adele Lusmore and I'm a Treaty Indian from Shabonining. In 2017, the Métis Nation of Ontario and the Province of Ontario designated some of our ancestors to be members of the historic Métis community of Killarney and Environs. They put a big spotlight on Etienne de la Marondière, their Métis trader who built a trading post here in 1820. Was Etienne who they say he was? Let's take a look at the genealogical evidence about his family. In MNO and Ontario's fact sheet, they refer to Etienne, his wife Sesagonique, and their children as the first identified Métis family to arrive in Killarney. MNO repeats this claim in an article they published in Canadian Geographic in 2022. The first identified Métis family. Well, my question is, identified by who? Because MNO has family history files that name each person that their registrar claims was a Métis ancestor. And their registrar doesn't say that Etienne was Métis. She doesn't say his wife was Métis either, or any of his 10 children. So even MNO doesn't support MNO and Ontario statements about Etienne and his family. I'm going to show you some data from a source called Genealogical Tables of the Quebec Noblesse from the 17th to the 19th century. The tables in this document were compiled by a member of the French Canadian Genealogical Society in 2009. It's a record of descendants of noble families of France who came to live in Quebec. Here's the table of Etienne de la Marondière's direct ancestors. At the top is Abel, Rockbert de la Marondière, and Marie Potier. They were members of a noble family living in France. Here's a closer view of the chart, and I've added a yellow line above the name of each person I'm talking about. The son of Abel and Marie, Etienne, that's his image on the left, was born in France in 1668. He was a king's attorney when he came to Quebec with his brother Herbe in 1690. Etienne became the keeper of the king's stores at Montreal. Etienne had a son also named Etienne, who married a Pigibot, another family of the French nobility who had come to live in Quebec. Their son, Francois Abel Etienne, was a lieutenant in the colonial regulars and a military engineer. He also married a woman from a French noble family, whose surname was Bailey de Messin. And now we get to the man pictured on the left, Abel Etienne Augustin Rockbert de la Marondière. He was born at Varennes, near Montreal, in 1767. He became a fur trader and eventually erected a trading post in Shabonining, now called Killarney, in 1820. He married this lady in Michigan. Her name was Sesagonique. She was the first native person to marry into this family of French nobles.
The author of this compilation provides sources of information for each table. The ones listed on the left are for the Rockbert de la Mirandière family. Almost all of them are collections of genealogical information about the early French families of Quebec. The last source is a book about the family by Pierre Georges Roy, published in 1905. The Encyclopedia of Quebec History provides information about Dr. Roy. Here's how they describe who he is. Since 1920, Pierre Georges Roy has been chief archivist of the province of Quebec. His authority as an historian, born of more than 40 years of study and research, is widely recognized, and his many published writings, no less than his services, as custodian of the archives of the province, have placed historians and scholars of the Dominion greatly in his debt. So this man's work was widely known and respected. In his book, he provides no evidence that Etienne the fur trader had any degree of native ancestry. There is no evidence at all to support MNO and Ontario's claim that Etienne Rockbert de la Mirandière was Métis. He had no native ancestry. But he was a fur trader with an Anishinaabe wife. I guess that's good enough for MNO and Ontario. A fake Métis leader for their fake historic Métis community of Killarney and environs.